Hi guys, I am Yashwandi and welcome back to my channel. Um, now today's video is going to be an aviation. Uh, today's video is going to be an aviation related video. Um, so if you are a student pilot like me, then comment down below pilot in progress so that I get to know how many people are actually getting benefited by this video. And let's get into the video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all uh, a few tips, tricks, or strategies. Um, that I use while studying general navigation. Now, I'm no teacher, no instructor, no expert or no anything. I'm just a student making mistakes and learning from them. Um, so these are the tips and tricks that have worked for me. And if they work for you, then well and good. And if you have something else um, that you think is helpful, then put it down in the comment section below because um, that way you'll be helping the whole pilot and progress community um, number one is track your syllabus now whatever you study whichever subject you study you don't want to do it in a haphazard manner um, and i have used this technique for like four to five years and it has always helped me tracking your syllabus helps you have a clear picture of what topics are done what topics are yet to be done and what topic requires a revision and specifically for general navigation i'll show you how it how i do it So this is how I track my syllabus for general navigation. So every time I sit to study, I will first open this last page of my book and see what exactly the situation is. Um, then I'll plan what I want to study today. And after my studying is done, I'll get back to that page again. I'll tick the topic that I've done um, or I've started and then close the book so that the next time that I get back to the subject, I have an idea of what I had done previously. Um, number two is the sequence. Now I refer to these two books, GSP and Oxford. The sequence that I follow is notes, Oxford and GSP because uh, notes are the things that I've taken down during the lecture um, in class. And if you want to self-study, the sequence might be a little different for you. You might first read Oxford, then take down the notes and then go to GSP. Uh, notes are something that give me a basic, clear, understanding of what the concept is and I go to Oxford to read anything and everything that is there to the concept that I've left out um, during the notes and then I go to GSP for extra knowledge so basically in a nutshell first thing is understanding the concept the second thing is reading the part which is the need to know and the third thing is reading the part which is want to know so yeah that is the sequence part number three is use color pens you can use a certain color for definitions, a certain color for keywords, a certain color for labeling of diagrams, a certain color for abbreviations and much more. As insignificant and tedious it might seem, I'm telling you it's going to stand you in good stead because when you're going to be in the exam hall and you see a question right in front of you, you're going to remember that whole page, that whole page where you're written about this question is going to flash right in front of you and you will literally remember every word that you've written in a certain color, every diagram that you've drawn in a certain color and that way you can literally create the whole concept in your mind then when you don't have the book. This technique you can also use for theology and regulation as well. So basically wherever there is theory you can use this technique because it actually helps in accentuating things that you need to remember. This technique has really worked for me. If it helps you then thank me later. Number four is the E6B Pathfinder app. Um, now, most of us, I think, use this kind of a calculator for navigation. And in the later stages of this, we're going to need something that is called as the CX3 calculator. And this app is actually a kind of a replacement for that calculator, unless or until you buy it. And this is how it looks. Number five 
Number five is research on your own. Uh, I'm sure you're watching this video because either you're a pilot in progress or an aviation geek. When you're done with reading, understanding, and solving everything that is in the book, when you see the pilots actually using these techniques and these strategies and these instruments in real life, trust me, the whole fascination and that understanding of the concept goes to a whole different level. So search related videos on YouTube, search something on Google, connect with your friends who are already in this field, connect with pilots if you know any. You will literally find yourself yearning for more knowledge and in the process you will also grow so much and gain so much information and knowledge and trust me it is a whole different level of fascination so research more on your own. Practical knowledge will surely help you in your pilot training. So yeah, these are the tips and tricks that I use for um, studying general navigation. If you have any, like I said, put it in the comment section below. Tell me what more aviation related videos you want to see from me. Other than that, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye!